The university study backing Genesee County's jailhouse school. This as the 27th Ignite graduation ceremony was held today. Lenita Brooks is here now to tell us about a new field of study being offered to inmates. Lenita. Yes, it was an extremely emotional and exciting day for all of the graduates and their loved ones. But for one family, it was extra special. It was a celebration like no other. Today was the 27th Ignite graduation ceremony, but this one was special. Oh, it was, it was magical. The energy in this room is, is really, uh, really something. Peter Hall is professor of economics at Brown University. He has been studying the Ignite program for two years and was the special guest speaker today. We found that one month of exposure uh, to Ignite uh, reduced recidivism and misconduct both by about 25 percent, uh, which is an enormous reduction in the literature on, on such interventions. Arkee Barnett, a fourth-year economic candidate at the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, was also a part of the research team. Every time I come back, I'm just in awe. Um, in awe of the work that goes into putting this together, in awe of the students um, um, who go from incarceration to education um, and their passion for what they're doing. And they just got one more thing to be passionate about. The UAW donated $15,000 to the Sheriff's Department to support the opening of the Jelly Roll Music Studio. We want the best. But the most heartwarming part of today was a mother who is currently in hospice care fighting for her life, being released for the day to make it to see her son graduate. A graduate of the Mount Morris High School with diploma, Mr. Zachary Farmer. In Flint, Lanita Brooks, WNEM TV5.